people, Station V, 103, Big Tick, doing big things, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Are you a UFC fight fan? And you definitely know my next guest. Lou Rockhold is in the building, uh, former Strike Force champion, now beating hey, people hey. up in middleweight. <laughs> How are you, Lou? I'm good, man. How good you doing? Thanks for Now, so ever since UFC kind of started, this is ongoing uh, conversation whether or not UFC has replaced boxing. As far as popularity and what people really want to watch, and it's, how do you feel about that? I, I'm a fan of boxing, you know. Right. I, I like the sweet science. I like the, I like watching it. So, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's it's fully replaced it, but a lot of the talent these days is is going into MMA. It mm. seems like, mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of pulling away from the from the from the talent pool that right. boxing has. Mm -hmm. and so, it's rough. I mean, I mean, there's. When we were growing up, it was all heavyweights. It was all like that next heavyweight right. matchup. You know, it was mm -hmm. exciting. And now it's now all we got is light, like light little, little guys, little guys. They're not. They're not. They don't. They don't have that same pull. You know, what it's I mean? not the same. It's no, not the same. No, no, so, there's no Ali's walking around. There's no Ali's walking around. <laughs> no Mike Tyson, no Tyson's, and all that. But I have actually set foot in an octagon, and even though I, I didn't say I was fighting anyone. I said I stepped inside the octagon, and it's a little. It's a little scary to step in and they close the cage. You're really in a cage. Yeah. How long did it get used to you being in that type of environment? Um, yeah. Especially with someone in the environment with you. <laughs> yeah. My, my first couple of fights were actually in a ring, so okay. you know, I had that experience first. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's something about that cage when the cage door shuts. Yeah. It feels like home. It, it, Not it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that it feels like that Bo for boxing you. rings are tough. You know, I don't know what to do with all that time. You're bouncing, getting caught up in the ropes. Right. I was just, I was actually in Vegas last week, and I was uh, visited uh, Mayweather's gym, got some boxing in. Nice. And uh, you know, I went with one of their top prospects there, and it was, and I was just out of sorts. I, I wanted to kick him. I wanted to push him away. It's, you know, I got to use so much footwork to get away from these guys and right. do my thing. So I was getting caught up in the ropes a little bit, but okay. it, was a cool, it was a cool experience. Well, Luke Rockhold is, uh, he's going to be fighting Wednesday, January 15th, right here in Atlanta at the uh, arena at Gwinnett Center versus uh, Costa Philippou. Is that how you say it? Costa Philippou Kakapupu, you know, so, 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 <laughs> something like that, right? Are you going to beat the Kakapupu out of Philippou? That that's the plan. I'm going to beat the living Kakapupu out of there. <laughs> uh, also, uh, uh, now they, they, I guess they call fights. Uh, Augusta's own Cole Miller squares off against Sam Cecilia at the featherweight level. Uh, tickets go on sale this Friday uh, at, at 10 a.m. through GwinnettCenter.com in the area Gwinnett Center box office or by calling one 9 axs Dash ticks. Uh, tickets started just forty dollars. Now, there's lots of different techniques you can use, right? Like I know some people, you know, there's there's the wrestling, there's the jujitsu, there's boxing. Like, That's why you, I love it. There's so many different aspects. You know, what what is your which which technique is your strongest your strong point, or what is it? You you know, like don't, don't you usually have like a it's based like this is where I'm at, and then I I incorporate other. Yeah. Or you just go in there and just, I just figure like it out. <laughs> kick, kick an ass technique. That's what I usually take. <laughs> yeah. I, nice. I, first, I, I'm well rounded, so I, you know, I, I definitely like to open up wherever I can, wherever their weakness is. That's where I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, you know, I, I'm a longer, rangier fighter, and I like I've got good kicks. This guy's a good boxer, so right. I'm going to bring it to him on the feet. And uh, if it gets too close, he might just get taken down. And you know, that's how he choke feels his ass about. Out. I'm going to take Luke with me like most places now. Luke, you're gonna you're gonna hang out with me, and I'm just gonna start talking crazy to people, and then be like, "Yeah, Luke can let." <laughs> <laughs> now you also helped train Herschel Walker, right? Yeah, yeah, Herschel is a good friend. We we uh, worked with him for a while. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he had a couple of fights. I don't know if you. I, saw, saw I think I saw there. the second one. Yeah, smoked he, smoked full. He just you know the guy guy actually kicked him in the face. I was I was telling everybody about this. I was like, right. I was doing a lot of media before, like building it up for mm -hmm. him, and they're asking him like, "What you know? Can he fight? Is he real? This that?" And I'm like. Dude, Herschel's tough. He's, he's been competing with some of the baddest dudes in, in our gym. I mean, I train with Cain Velasquez every day, and wow. Herschel would, would spar Cain from time to time, and some of our toughest really? guys, you know? Right. So Herschel, Herschel is legit. He's a tough guy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, watch him when he gets hit in the face. You know, he'll turn into a different beast. Sure enough, I was like, I didn't want to get hit too hard, but the guy kicks him square across the face. He takes it and drops his hands and just puts his chin out and goes, what fool? <laughs> Comes forward and knocks the dude out in like nice. five seconds. It was, it was badass. And, uh, he, I think I saw that one. Yeah, Cause he, I was like, did Herschel just do that to that dude? I was screaming, just yelling. Was, uh, That's oh, awesome. Man, it was such a cool experience for Herschel. I'm stoked for him. I'm stoked. They, uh, well, listen, he's backing out on, on the winning streak too. Go support Lou, Luke Rocco, uh, January 15th, Arena at Gwinnett Center. Oh, and we actually have some tickets to give away? Oh, that's nice. Let me love, listen, if you want to go, 
You can win these tickets before you can buy them because they don't go on sale on Friday. Start at forty dollars. You will have a pair of tickets to uh, go check out Luke versus Costa Filippo or what you call Cockapoo Poo. Cockapoo Poo. That's what I'm gonna have to beat out of him. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what I will be. The Arena Equinet Center, January fifteenth. You want the tickets? Call me right now. Four four seven four one W V E E. Luke, nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you, Trey. And if anybody wants to get started in. You have like ultimate fighting. How, what 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 is the suggestion for you? The suggestion is to get to a gym, a good gym. Obviously, you want you don't want to mess around with the little little small gyms. You ain't gonna learn much there. So right. get to an established gym where there's pro fighters and, and learn from the best. Get beat up and, uh, and learn from it. You know that's that's what me. I, I train with Cain Velasquez every day for seven years, and he's the, the heavyweight champ, right? He's the baddest man on the planet. So yeah, that's a problem. You know, going against guys my size. <laughs> Ain't no deal. <laughs> Indeed. So. Well, we wish you luck. I'm going to probably try to fun. put me. I want to be ringside, Luke. Can hey, I be ringside? We're going to get you Give me a rock hole. Baby. Rock hole will rock you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn up. Well, congratulations. Good luck. And uh, call on 103 right now, 44741-WVEE. You will go to the Luke Rock Hole beatdown of Costa Filippo Wednesday, January 15th at the Arena Gwinnett Center. I have the three things you need to know. Uh, fourth thing you need to know is how to get through these ATL streets. Charlie Sale was the deal. Well, we got still slow stuff on the downtown connector.